Hello, I'm Diego Saldivar, a Neurogame developer, and I would like to talk to you about the Neurogame I'm making. I have the idea to show the games industry that Neurogames not only are possible, but they can be successful as well. I also want to show the Neurotech industry how it is done. Most Neurogames out there are either uh, therapeutic or just uh, made for scientific purposes, so I hope that I can succeed and pay rent with the revenue from this neuro game. I'm not only hopeful, but I'm quite certain that this could be the case, mainly because I have years experience as a neuro game developer, and also I have years experience pioneering neuro games, as you can see in this very channel. I am going to be using pre-made art assets in order to accelerate the development, because I do not have the time to do it all. Although I am working all by myself. Also, the neuro technology compatible with this neuro game is quite cheap and it already has half a million users. So there is already a market for it. As well as, I hope, some interest from the gaming community at large. So let's talk about the game in and of itself. Let me talk about Project Brazil. You get a cookie if you know what the working name is referencing. So I got the design idea mostly from the Stanley Parable and Goat Simulator. I want to make something funny, relatable, and quite frankly easy to make. So I thought maybe let's do something fun and chaotic. So what's the story about? Well, well after years of working in the same office every single day of the week and weekends too, you get fired. So why don't you use your mind powers to give them hell? No, really, I'm not joking. You can don the Muse 2, and it will relay your brainwaves directly into your smartphone. The game is of course in development, but, you know, here's a sneak peek of the game mechanics. Uh, this is an early test that I made, and I'm quite happy with it. But the game loop should stay mostly the same. If you're calm, you can shoot ice. If you're not calm, you shoot fire. And depending on your level of focus, you can make the punches much larger or even smaller if you're into that kind of thing. So yes, I'm developing this all by myself. I do not have enough money to pay an entire studio, which is why I'm keeping the game loop short but highly replayable, a little bit like Flappy Bird, so to speak. This is what in the industry is known as a minimum viable product or a vertical slice. Gamers may call this a demo because it's not 40 hours long, but it's meant to be more casual. If this game is successful, I might be able to get enough money to make a larger, more complex neuro game. And speaking of money, I have seen some very good neuro games fail because they are being funded by an investor that does not quite understand the game development pipeline, which ends up asphyxiating the game. So to ensure as much independence as possible, I am first requesting government funds to pay for expenses and fees. Although I have already been denied a couple grants, I have also been awarded a couple, so some of the expenses have already been alleviated, but otherwise I'm funding this out of pocket. And, uh, you know, nothing is free in life. Even though I have cut all of the corners I could, I still have to pay for trademark registry, software licenses, art assets, publicity, and well, I mean, I do want to showcase this game on Gamescom. And that means that I will have to pay for the booth, for the passes, travel, lodging, and any other expenses. They're all paid by me. But I do keep applying for government grants, don't worry about that. So how will I make my money back? There's going to be a free demo with elemental powers, ice and fire, but if you want to use the psychic blast power, you will have to pay. I'm still deciding how much it's going to cost. Maybe, I don't know, $10? I'll think about it. To keep myself independent, I'm not accepting donations from anyone at this point, but if you do wish to help, um, please make noise. Make the world understand that neuro games are the present, not the future. Ask big streamers to play the game, even if it's not out yet. Streamers' agendas can be a little bit tight, so the earlier they know that this is coming out, the better for me. Also, make a lot of noise on social media. Get your friends and family FOMO. If you could ask publishers and game companies to support neuro games or make them, that would help me a lot, because so far neuro games are stuck in a negative feedback loop. 
People want Nero games, I know this for certain, but they don't get Nero games because there's no Nero games in the market. And there's no Nero games in the market because, well, nobody has bought Nero games in bulk. So big companies think this is not a good investment. Let's change that perception, shall we? And that is it. I hope to have something a bit more pretty next month, but at least the basic mechanic is already there, so this near game is moving forward. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope spring is treating you well. Thanks again, and goodbye. <laughs>